It's got to do 400 miles an hour. Turn on a sixpence. Climb 10,000 feet in a few minutes. Dive at 500 without the wings coming off. Carry eight machine guns. But it isn't exactly a bird I'm creating, is it? At least it's a curious sort of bird. A bird that breathes fire and spits out death and destruction. A spitfire bird. Hello and welcome to the Spitfire refurbishment. Well, here we have our example, which I purchased off eBay quite some time ago. And I have one or two of the Spitfires, uh, which has been laying dormant for about three years. And I have covered this one with uh, an etching primer and left it at that really. So where do we go from here? Okay, well, obviously we, uh, we have to have our decals in place. We have to have our paint in place. Now I will be using XF21 uh, Sky for the underneath and XF52 Dark Earth and XF62 for the green. These are Tamiya colors. This is what I'm geared up to, 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 to use, the Tamiya colors. And I think I may be doing two Spitfires. One as factory fitted and one as a customized job uh, showing you uh, a plane that was flown by a real person with the real decals on. Or at least I don't say real, I mean the model version type of it. And so we have our Spitfire that we have straight out the packaging. Now, straight away, I have one problem that I have to overcome. So I've, t I've taken the screws out of this Spitfire here. And you will see immediately how things go together with the motor. Now, the motor has a wire from the positive side of the motor, which goes to this intermediate. Actually, I don't know what you call this, really. Um, part of the circuit, anyway. There goes an end type battery in here, okay? And there's your negative side, which is then, you have a, a, a cable to the body of the motor. Okay, now, on some of my dinky toys, this part is missing. And when you take it out, it looks, well, like this. Now, in this example, the previous owner um, their soldering techniques is not what you call fantastic and slightly melted it but I will be able to reuse it it's not a problem however I still have some dinky um, Spitfires which don't have this so what am I going to do well as it happens I have a part some of you may recognize this out of a dinky helicopter which is the Sea King and I can turn it this way around, cut this off here, and fit it into the Dinky Spitfire, which will then give me this part here. So that's what I'm going to attempt. I'm going to do that off camera, because to do it on camera will just take a very long time. And as some of you will know, my videos can be a little bit long. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, what I would say, uh, is that if you're going to do a Spitfire, just remember that you are going to be doing a British iconic aircraft. So you, you want to get this right, you want to get it absolutely spot on and be very proud of it afterwards when you've finished. So to prepare, make sure you order yourself a propeller. If you need exhaust, make sure you order those. Your cockpit and you may want to replace this rear part underneath the fuselage um, I think I might do and you will get this as a separate piece and the wheel as a separate piece which will come and look like this okay and this is from uh, recovertoy.com and you get this part here and you get the rear wheel as a separate piece and you get the screw that comes with it and that will go on this one here okay so my first job off camera is to make that 
fitting there for the end type battery. Then of course, if you wish to do the factory fitted Spitfire, you will need to go online and I have ordered the um, stickers. These are paper stickers and you'll need the transfers here and the paper sticker for the tail as well as, and of course I need a new canopy for this and a new prop and everything. So that's all going to be happening very soon. So get yourself prepared. In the meantime, I shall see if I can make uh, the new battery connection using this and then I'll come straight back to you and I'll tell you how I did it. Now I have cut this piece out here, taken all of this off and I came up with this and I'm hoping you can focus on that and there we are that now has a contact with the positive side of the motor and I've taken a wire to the negative side and I put a temporary prop. I know this is sacrilege, it's off an uh, BF109, but there you go. So that now works. So it just goes to show you, you, you can reuse this and I will take this apart in just a moment, just to show you, I'll just stop that motor. Oh, doesn't want to stop now. Yeah, there you go. Start and stop. So if you are missing this part here, which is, I've now put it down out of my sight, which is this part here. Yeah. If you're missing that, get yourself a scrap dinky seeking take this part out, chop it down very, very carefully without hurting yourself and it will fit in there. Now I'm just going to take this apart now just to show you. Um, I'll take the battery out. If I can take the battery out, there you go. And that's what it lo looks like. Yeah. You just got to solder the cable across there. It fits in nice and snugly there. And just to show you that it does fit nice and snugly. Put that back in place. In fact, why don't I put the battery back in? If I can. There you go. Yep. Yeah, there's the motor working. Put this back in place. If it wants to play ball. Which it does, I think. Yes, and it will work. So that's what you can do if you are missing this part here, which I will show you on this one here. If you're missing this part here, that's how you get out of it. On to the next stage. Now we have um, set up the main parts of the body ready for priming. Uh, as before, this is etching primer. I put a fresh coat on there just to start from scratch, if you like, excuse the pun. And now we're going to be using the um, surface primer. This is a, a grey surface primer for the top. I'm going to use a white for the bottom because it's a lighter colour. And we have to give it a shake for several minutes, which I've done off, off camera. And here we go. Okay, and then we're going to grab the white primer. Let's get that into shots. There you go. And I've not shaken this one, so I apologise. There you go. And I'll put another coat on that. A little bit later and we will just let that dry. Be patient. The birds fly a lot better than we do. See how they wheel and bank and fly. Perfect. And all in one. Wings, body, tail, all in one.
Someday, I'm going to build a plane that will be just like a bird. is now completed we've added the propeller and the canopy and the two exhausts and just to show you there we have a working propeller doesn't she look beautiful so now we have to apply um, the decals and because we're making what I call as factory fitted we're going to be using the paper original paper type decals for this that so obviously i'm going to try and keep my hands as much out of the camera as i can and they just peel off okay these are uh, obtainable from ebay uh, you just type in spitfire decals and they will turn up or dinky dinky decals and using your tweezers obviously just pop them in there rub them down and they fit within the metal circle uh, the earlier types do anyway the later types I believe don't have that metal circle there and so I suppose if you want a better description you call them a well so there we go just push them down with your finger 
try to go from the middle to the outer in case you trap any uh, air bolts now you have these on the rudder please remember red is to the front okay red is to the front and these are just a paper peel off there we go I'm trying to keep my big fat hands and fingers out of shot as much as possible and there we go in this position here okay so okay so now it's time for these decals here and you need to just get a bit of that water on there and slip the paper away and then just position get your fingers wet position as best you can low as you can because don't forget you've got that battery compartment so you don't want to be getting that decal on there now what we're going to do very good for just rolling along like so probably can't see too well but there's a, a black number there that's the registration of the aircraft okay and that goes towards the tail and then hopefully um, I can put the other side on so as you see there's the black number there that goes towards the tail so just be aware of that if you're not paying attention um, it's easy to get distracted now in effect I suppose I'm doing this in a cag-handed left-handed sort of way but anything for the camera huh so let's pull that away that's it wet our fingers and thumbs and now gently as we can you do need to be gentle can't stress that enough It's just a little bit of film, really, when you think about it. Now, if they match that up either side, yeah, in fact, do you know, I think that's about right. Dry that off. It's difficult doing these things when you can't always check that you are within range of the camera. So I do apologise for the odd mistake here and there. I haven't got a cameraman. Okay, so what's left to do now, for all intents and purposes, is yes to let that dry off, but I keep forgetting to take the the tape off these wheels, you know. I've, I've done one side, so bear with me and I'll take this off with your kind permission and patience. There's always that last bit, isn't there? There we go. So, I'll just let the undercarriage down. There we are. So let's get all of this out of the way. I'm always a big fan of using the uh, paper towels. And let's just get anything else off there. Just a bit of damp once more over the transfers so what is left now is the aerial and here's your aerial again available from eBay I don't know if there's a right or wrong way but I'm going to put that in there wow fitted first time and ladies and gentlemen we have as factory fitted dinky Spitfire with retractable undercarriage yeah a working propeller and there is your spitfire waiting for takeoff 
Isn't she lovely? She is absolutely beautiful. Now, I will be putting a, another coat of gloss varnish over this just to seal it and protect the decals. And so I will then declare that as a finished model as soon as that lacquer has gone on. Um, now, I, I am going to do a different version of this, a customised version. I am presenting this as a Dinky Spitfire 719 as factory fitted. So this is how it would have come from the factory with your paper decals. Um, and that's how what it would have looked. So that's as factory fitted. Now, I think the quality of the reproduction is actually better than the as factory fitted because you wouldn't get the time and quality put into these things that you would have done at the factory no way there's just no way that the factory could have put in the quality that you would put in yourself um, so i would say these are actually probably better and more probably worth more having uh, okay you could probably argue the toss over that but that's up to you and that's my opinion and uh, anyway there we are so we're now going to fly away and uh, thank you and I shall display this on a little turntable thank you and there she is ladies and gentlemen fully operational a fine looking aircraft a fine and beautiful lady I really think this looks absolutely superb but wait what's this we have another young lady but this young lady is wearing a cut hat ladies and gentlemen I give you the customized version of a dinky 719 isn't she absolutely smashing all the panel lines are showing. All the detail is in there. Everything is all painted on. Airbrushed. Beautiful sounding motor. Yep. She's a beauty. And if you would like me to, I will make a video for this. I just like your input. The birds fly a lot better than we do. See how they wheel and bang and fly. Perfect. And all in one. Wings, body, tail.